Okay. So, so Jennifer, yes. we're at a conference with 400 people. Yes. Uh, the, the networking sessions are very loud, very buzzy, and that's going to be difficult for introverts. Yes. You you advise introverts, you coach them. How yes. how would you help them overcome that challenge? Well, there's a couple of things, Andy. I would say three things that introverts can do. Number one, they can use their strength of preparation. By planning who is going to be at the event, they can actually seek out some of those people and when they see them at the event, they can actually have some talking points yes. if you want conversation. Um, a second thing that they can do is also uh, uh, be come with a friend yeah. because you know, a lot of times that comfort level yeah. increases when we go with somebody that we know. And, and the third thing is to just to think about just being yourself yeah. and, and changing your mindset that this isn't about you performing, but it's asking a good yeah. question or two. And one of the strengths of the introvert, too, is to listen very well. So you ask most of folks a question, and they will go on and, and share with you about themselves. So if you look at it as a chance for you to listen and learn, as well as, of course, share about yourself, uh, you will do very well in these kind of events. And I think, you know, we talked about it last night. Yes. Introverts are often the best networkers Absolutely. because they listen and just come in with relevant questions and relevant comments rather than try and hog the limelight. Absolutely. I found in the research that I did that they one of the six key strengths that they use to really influence others is to have focused conversations so you know what better than to really use networking as a venue to do that and just like you and I have have moved away from the buzz yes. of the 400 yeah. people and we're having a real conversation um, introverts can also do that too and say hey why don't we just move our our talk over here or how about if I meet you at the bar later and, and we talk or how, even better um, uh, start a conversation on email if that's something you yeah. want to do. Just learn interest about that person through things like social media. And actually, you could use social media before the event as well oh. to connect with people you'll see there because you feel like you've got a friend already. Absolutely, and I, and I think for any event, uh, introverts and extroverts, we get a lot more out of it if we think about, you know, a what is the reason we're here, yeah. so we can kind of be looking for those types of folks, and b as you say, specifically figure out who might I want to set an appointment with uh, because. If, as an introvert, you plan and prepare so well. That's the really the ace in the hole that right. you have over the extroverts who sort of wing it. Um, that you're going to get so much more out of an event like yeah. this because you've done that. Yeah, excellent. Thank you very much, Jennifer. Oh, it's my total pleasure to talk to the networking expert. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers.